today's video is about growing your own lemon from seed this is one of my little babies this one um is about 19 months old now and this is all from seed look how beautiful it is beautiful 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 so i'm going to go through the stages because i always have lemon seed growing so i'm going to go through the stages and show you how you can have your own lemon tree from seed that will start producing lemon normally in its third year. But even before it produces lemon, the lemon leaves can also be used to make tea as well. And as we all know, lemon is one of those things that are rich in vitamin C. It improves the glow of your skin. It aids with digestion. It's normally advised to have squeezed lemon in warm water every morning. And that will help with your hydration. It will help with balancing your body pH system. It is re really good in lots of um, antibacterial. It actually had a refreshing flavor. So some people who don't like drinking water, you can just squeeze a little lemon in for a different taste. It helps with kidney stone. So people with kidney stone, lemon is also your friend. It freshens your breath. It aids with weight loss as well. So when you put the lemon in warm water, it actually helps with weight loss. And as we know, the common cold and sniffles, lemon is quite good. So today, we're going to start by showing you how to get from the seeds then a little tiny plant like that will pop up then it takes another two and a half three months to move from that stage to this stage over here these are going six and a half months they're about and then it moves from this stage to that stage and then hopefully in another year i'll be enjoying some nice fresh lemons from a tree this is kept on my windowsill and it actually loves the position. So when I'm finished with this video, I'll take it straight back upstairs and leave it in his home. So I'm going to show you how to separate or what to do with the lemon seeds and then to plant it. So as you see, the lemon seed is there. And then like when you take out the lemons, normally when you cut the lemon, you have some that is cut through like that happens to every one of us when you cut our lemons these cannot be used these are damaged seeds so you can't use those the lemon seed itself you could grow it when you just take it out like that but the seed takes the longest to sprout like that so what you need to do is to hold the seed there's like a pointy bit like there you need to get some fingernails i get someone with a fingernail and then you need to strip it off if you can see you just there's an outer coat of the skin you need to take all of that off so there you go a bit hard to come off it's not the biggest of seed you're working with so that's it there take off those bits and then you're gonna allow the seed to germinate at a much faster rate than if it have to break through all those barriers in the first place so Take all of those off. There you go. Almost there. This is quite hard. Take all of that off. Like that. And then you're left with a little seed. Looking like that. And there's like a different like a hide there. And it's like that. So all the outer coating is now gone. So that's your seed. Then you're going to just get a normal container. That's just um, multi-purpose compost. Nothing fancy. You can use starter pack um, compost if you want. But so far, all of these have germinated in normal compost. So this is one way of doing it. Just stripping it like that. And then just put it in the soil. And you're going to bury it about half an inch. So just push it right down like that then you cover it that's all you have to do so afterwards 
as with any new plant to get all of the hair pockets out you just need to put some water on it keep it like that and that's one seed planted the other thing you can do is to put some seed in normal zip locker bag so just like you strip the seed just now to plant it you do the exact same thing but you strip the seed put it in a kitchen roll damp it and then put it in a bag so i'll show you what i'm talking show you what i'm talking so oh this is making a mess there so with the normal seed if you pretend that's one of these seeds so we just strip it down and show you so there's another seed here so if you take that off like we did previously look a bit tricky and slippery oops come back here so you're gonna take it off like that just like i did previously this is the hardest part of growing a lemon seed <laughs> once you get past this stage it just requires some patience because they're not the quickest of things to sprout okay so you take it off as it did previously so there's off then you just put it in put it on a paper roll and um, paper towel like that fold it over so usually it's advisable to do more than one so if you want one tree i would probably do five seeds because some will germinate some will not so you do the same thing have the seed and then you just damp it this is not soaking you just damp the paper towel like that so see it's damp so you can see the little seed there it's damp then you just take a plastic bag put it in put it in a nice dry dark place and then usually seven to nine days it will start sprouting when the root reaches about one inch then you can put it in the soil then but I find both ways work, but I prefer to put it directly in the soil so I don't have to disturb the root and mess around with it. So this is one way of doing it. That's another way of doing it. And then you will get from this stage to that stage, then a little taller and then to a beautiful plant. And even though if it doesn't produce any lemon straight away you can enjoy just having a beautiful evergreen plant in your house last winter i'll probably lose about nine leaves in total it didn't drop most of his leaves so it stayed evergreen and it is beautiful so that's my lemon tree and you can have one at home as well by just following this simple procedure put it in a compost like that Put in a zip locker like that and then just wait patiently and then you will get my lemon tree if you're wondering what the white stuff is on it as you know growing plants indoor has advantages as well so we have those little tiny gants if that's how it's pronounced was all over and the best way to avoid is the water from the bottom which i wasn't watering from the bottom I was pouring the water on top so i just put um I think it's called diatomaceous earth so i put this on it to get rid of the little gants so that's what is on top of these so apart from the compost and the seed that's the only thing that i add to these to get rid of the gants okay thanks for listening thanks for watching take care bye bye